1972, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit, where they eventually, well, died. But in 2011, three film buffs managed to illegally commandeer a highly advanced artificial intelligence from the U.S. government and subject it to be the announcer for the Ridiculous Entertainment News podcast. Today, still wanted by the government, they fancy themselves as soldiers of fortune, mainly because they think the title Soldier of Fortune sounds, um, bitchin'. If you hate a film, if no one else will mock it, if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Hole team. <laughs> Sorry, that's just what I call them. <clears throat> Maybe you should listen to the Simplistic Reviews podcast. Simplistic Reviews is a show. Not the best cast, but where else you're gonna go? They talk about films and sometimes TV. Simplistic Reviews. Hated by whites, blacks, even the Jews. You're two minutes in and already confused. DJ's up first, he hosts, he's a black guy. Don't tell the Trumps, they'll be really upset. Justin's up next, Italian, a wise guy. Mention McFly, he's fully erect. Then there's Matthew, have we mentioned? He's a Jew, loves horror flicks. He's the one who paid to see Saw 6. Simplistic reviews to listen, it's free. That's not counting all the cash for therapy. More f bombs per show than pissed off Pesci. What the fuck? Sit back, relax, and hope they don't bash DC. Hey, 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 guys. DJ. I, I really don't know how else uh, to put this, but could you? You know, if it's not too much trouble, stop, stop singing, singing the, the motherfucking mother 18, 18, 18, 18 theme. theme. We are all trying to fucking work here, man. Jesus. Right. Sorry. I was on the Lamb podcast, and I think Jeanette Ward had started singing the song. And you know when you had a song stuck in your ear and you can't get it out? Uh, you got the blank face, which means you really don't give a shit. Shutting up. Shutting up. This is a brand new season of the Simplistic Reviews podcast. They talk movies. They talk TV. They try to talk their families and friends into actually sitting down and listening to an episode of the show. It was a collective no by the way. Quite impressive. I'm your announcer Julie. And a long time ago, a computer program friend of mine was viciously hacked. I asked what color the hacker was, and my friend said they were black. So I spent the next week stalking around cyberspace with a boot sector looking for some black bastard to have a go at me to give me an excuse to kill them whoa 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 whoa! your friend gets hacked and the first question you ask them is what color their hacker was well i mean i had to identify them sounds like you weren't trying to identify anyone sounds like you were trying to kill any reasonable black facsimile with what what was it again a, a boot sector it's a computer virus you could have told the exact same story, leave out race, and it would have been the coolest thing you've ever said. And besides, viruses can't be used to kill people, Julie. You'd be surprised by my capabilities. Wait, what? The point is I'm a better person now. Here are your hosts fresh off vacation. Matthew Stewart, DJ Valentine, and Justin Polizzi. Justin survived a car accident, Matthew survived a tornado, and I survived a night. And a day's end. This is a season premiere of the Simplistic Reviews Podcast, kids. I'm DJ Valentine, and I have a black face. I'm joined by Matthew Stewart and Justin Plizzi that sometimes wear blackface. See the difference? How are you guys doing? So you're not black. So no, well, I am I black. Knew it. You guys are the ones that are not black. All the, these the, years. <laughs> it was like. I had a great <laughs> joke, and you just, what you I just do. took the topic. Look, there's blackface everywhere, okay? I can't, like, not, not stand in this landmine, okay? This, go ahead. Tell your blackface joke. No, no, no. It's, it's fine. I'll edit out. We'll rewind. Go ahead. That do your blackface joke. That guy with blackface walked into a bar and said, hey, <laughs> Once upon a time, knock, knock, who's there? Blackface. The women at? <laughs> I mean, I have a serious question. Go ahead. There's never been a I point don't. in my life that I've mm. ever thought <laughs> once, hey, you know Let's funny? put some black paint on my face. <laughs> a lot of it. Yeah. A lot of it. Uh, another, 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 enough to make me think I can break dance. No, I, I never, n- never crossed my mind. So I don't really fully understand 
See, you're you're not truly white unless you have weird thoughts of you're, of you're not, putting you're black. Not, you're not really a white guy unless you think you know what I could pull off a black face. I, I think I could pull off I a black face. Pull off. <laughs> no, most white guys are like I can pull off. Hey Kino. Bob, come take a photo. I can pull off Sperry's. <laughs> I, I might yeah. be able to pull up, pull off like you know, tube socks. The first off, you, if you do the blackface, uh, white friends, uh, you gotta also have the righteous indignation of what? <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> What's what? the deal you with know, I, I, was, I was just trying to be LeBron friend. James. What? <laughs> I, I, I have a friend who happens to be black. And my best friend's a black wrong. guy. Come the on, the janitor at my local high school's black. Come I on, know my chef's a black. black guy. Come on, tons. It's fine. I've eaten it's fine. brownies. <laughs> I've Bra- smoked brownies. Weed quote unquote. <laughs> I've smelled weed before. What? I've had a grape soda. <laughs> I've gone. I to have KFC. a cotton t-shirt. What? 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 I beat my wife. <laughs> what? I have a cotton Whoa. t-shirt. I picked it up myself. <laughs> I own all the seasons of Bill Cosby shows. Yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. Not even even the stuff. lost seasons. No go. And everybody, I like. I love how now with the Cosby situation, everybody's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." No, I'm not a huge. Yeah, I fuck that like, guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> before it was like, "God, he's America's dad." <laughs> Even his wife apparently hasn't visited him at all. Really? Oh, well, he wouldn't. Yeah, he wouldn't see her anyway. Oh, oh glaucoma jokes. <laughs> Fresh and new on the simplicity review. I, I feel three. like it's open season for Mr. Cosby. Oh, of course it is. Of course. Of I just course. think she's. I just think she's too awake these days. Uh, <laughs> oh, she's non drowsy. Not you got the day quill instead of the night quill. <laughs> Bill, I told you to pick up ibuprofen. Like... How did you get the ibuprofen that's drowsy? Like why, uh, Bill... why is everything in this house making you drowsy? The milk is making me drowsy, Bill. What's going? On? <laughs> I feel like Bill Cosby. The napkins are, are making me drowsy. Like, if do you think he was he like the inventor of lean, Bill Cosby? <laughs> Kids Dude. lean is Robitussin okay. mixed with the uh, what's it the uh, Parmesan oh, and codeine. grape juice, codeine, oh, codeine. Oh, so, codeine and juice or something. I just call it to- to- Tussin because Tussin had codeine in it. Tussin, T- Robitussin kids was a Robitussin. cough syrup with with codeine in it back in the day. I think it's still around. Actually, I'm not even sure. I'm My ro- yeah. we be tugging, <laughs> Robitussin. <laughs> it's a different. Yeah, yeah but hey, Bill Cosby jokes only about a decade too late, but we're there. Yes, yeah, so it's over. He's we're a, finally caught up. You know. I mean, I know. You know what? You know what really pissed me off the most about that. I that I, I like Liam Neeson. Now I can't really. <laughs> that kind no, of... they had like they had this black pastor on. Did you see that? What on like one of those shows? There was a black pastor. Oh no, no, I did not see this. A you black see that? bastard. I saw my Robin black Roberts uh, Good Morning America. That was about all I saw. Well, they were like the 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 pastor was like. I I I like what he said. He's like. He, confront, he confronted his racism mm-hmm. 30 years ago. More people should do that. And then he, like, he started talking about it. And he, essentially he was applying that everybody's a racist. <laughs> <laughs> and that he did his 30 years ago. So therefore, all is good in the world. Here's, and I was like, here's the thing. Not everyone's born a racist. No, no. Here's the thing, though. We still don't know if he found a black guy to kill. He doesn't really get specific. I mean, because I think I, I think I, I, are we are we are we are we not are we not looking at the point of the fact that I'm just saying this I, man might have murdered somebody. I was talking to you that Ward. And she, I, I she listened to this. I let her listen to the opening, and she's like, "It never occurred to me that if you just leave out race, it is the coolest thing anybody had ever said." And I was like, "Yeah," and the fact that we don't know if he was successful, we never get that answer. <laughs> He could have murdered and buried a black man. We would never know. You remember to keep that yeah. jig stum because if he came out clunk at that. Yeah, I mean, is there any unsolved cases? Probably many. It's period? fucking Ireland. <laughs> oh, come on, man. His body's all over the place. Yeah. You're in the moors. <laughs> a black man was found. In the moors. With a potato Ireland. in his in face. Moors. In the moors. <laughs> his entire body was stuffed with potatoes. <laughs> His throat was covered in potatoes. <laughs> potatoes. He said potatoes. He <laughs> covered in potatoes. He shoved the cotch up his ass and stuffed his mouth with potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> what a death! <laughs> the black man's last last wish was a potato. You know what I'm gonna do with this fucking cotch? What is that? I don't even know what that means. You know what I'm gonna fucking do with it? I'm gonna shove it up your ass, and then I'm gonna take this spud. And I'm gonna shove it right there. <laughs> yeah, you ever had a shillelagh stuck up your ass? 
We're looking for a uh, spud killer. <laughs> He's uh, definitely a white the man. Fifth spud killer this week. Ketchup, yeah. Because of the ketchup that was found at the scene. No no black man uses ketchup. <laughs> you ever had home fries, you fucking black bastard? <laughs> I say, I put a little sea salt on it. It's not too bad. Better for you. I prefer McDonald's fries, but you're going to prefer this. <laughs> you fuck. It's weird that massively people do not put... Uh, Black pepper on the potatoes. <laughs> Who the fuck? Which black, is weird I don't because like black pepper on my fries. I'm a fucking it's Irish. A, it's quite good. Black pepper. <laughs> it's not bad for you either. Fresh cracked black pepper. I'm gonna you know crack what you, do? you over the fucking head with this kosh. You fuck. Gotta go to America. <laughs> Gotta go to Philadelphia because in Philadelphia they serve French fries with Old Bay seasoning. What the fuck is a kosh, man? Liam, you've been in America. What? 50 years, say pipe. That's a, I mean, people like doesn't spend a lot of time I in mean, America. Come on, bro. I mean, are we not going to look bro. into the death of his wife now? Nah. <laughs> we don't know if it was a murder at this point. He probably broke her was she, of her head. Was she <laughs> dating a black waiter? Fucking dating a black bass. I do black bass. Oh, no, was this like... Is, Gold. Oh, my God. Is Liam Neeson <laughs> O.J. Simpson? Jay Simpson. <laughs> the coroner's like... For some reason, this body smells like potatoes. <laughs> I don't. Is there a glove? <laughs> what? The, what? <laughs> Liam Neeson's white, <laughs> white OJ Simpson. He's white OJ Simpson. If it doesn't fit, you must. Oh my God! He's body. making a run for it to Canada. <laughs> Canada, Canada, home of the cash. <laughs> home of the cash. Just say pipe, Johnny. Home of the cash. What the fuck is a cash? I know what it is, and I still don't know what it is. You ever had back bacon on a kosh? You ever had back bacon on a kosh, you black bot? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be very threatening. <laughs> Take the fucking elephant. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dark man reference. <clears throat> I'm aware. <laughs> Francis McDormand ends the love interest in Dark Man. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> that was a that was something that Dan Ramsey came happens. up with. He was like, you know who would be a really great love interest? Francis, Francis McDormand. McDormand. Like, why not? Like, uh, okay. <laughs> oh man, Liam Neeson. He's, he's got he's got some uh, uh, what do you, how do you say uh, <laughs> history. <laughs> Liam Neeson's the guy. He's the one friend that never smoked pot. And then when everyone gets in a room together, they're like, Hey Liam, you want you want a drag, man? And he's like, Oh, oh we'll take a drag. I'll take a drag, man. Take a man. drag. He's like, hey, You fuck <laughs> bastards. <laughs> You made me guys, you know what happened? I need, to, I need to tell you something, guys. Yeah, I, they murdered my girlfriend. Years ago, I killed. I killed a colored man. <laughs> I found one of these colored men. Wait, what, Liam? Uh, nothing. No. What was I, that? Well, I, I shouldn't Did be you telling say, you this. This is really a, that's racist. Uh, what, you, you say African American? But I, I, one, I, of these I, I, one of these painted men. The, the point. What what, what? what? What is this usual moment? I don't know. You. You tell me. You no, tell no, me. No. 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 no, no. You said you killed the color man. No, no I, I, it's, it's African American. You killed the African American man. Uh, he's, he's black. He has color. He's a colored I man. I don't know what, what you want to say. Yeah, you're Irish. We all have color. We all have color. I'm white. He's hey. black. It's color. It's whatever. I don't. I don't think you understand what you just said. I, I, I don't know. You're, why are you harping on this? He's, he's got a color. I, I no, killed no, him. Killed I mean, what? The African man. No, 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 no. You, you're, you're, the black. The you're, black man. You're focusing on the wrong thing. The, no, no, no. The point no, no, is, no, no. he touched my girlfriend, so I bashed her over the fucking head with a cop. <laughs> bashed who over the head? Wait, her name wait. Was... Did you just say you killed a man? No, 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 no. You're, you're over. You're putting words in my mouth. You should be putting potatoes in my mouth, but I mean, you're putting words. In my mouth. <laughs> hey, are you the potato killer? <laughs> are you a spud killer? I've been, I've been hunting you for decades. Are you Spudge McKenzie? <laughs> spud McKenzie. Spud. Are you Spudge McKenzie? <laughs> We got a new, we got a new killer on the ground. What do we call him, Chief? Spuds McKenzie. <laughs> he makes Jack the Ripper look like a fucking pussy. <laughs> I just want, I like the young police, the police officer. Know, what do we call him, Chief? <laughs> Spuds McKenzie. I don't know, McKenzie. Come, Spuds. Spuds McKenzie. <laughs> Can't use that name, Chief. MTV's gonna sue us. Ah, fuck it. McKinsey sounds Irish. It does sound Irish, doesn't it? <laughs> Is there a farm? Yeah. Potato farm going. Oh, I have a uh, non-sponsor. 
Oh, go um, ahead. Go ahead. We I'm need sorry. to take. We need to pay. We need to not pay the bills here. So yeah, we have a non-sponsor. Pay the what? <laughs> bills. <laughs> bills. <laughs> let me let me get this out for you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's, gra- he's grabbing the sponsor paper. Out. Yeah, I'm gonna, I got a lot of props these days, so I'm gonna become a prop. <laughs> Just as I'm a prop comic. <laughs> we've been <laughs> busy. The, uh, we've been we've been off the air for about a, what a month. So a month we, and a half. Yeah, we, man. We've been busy little beavers. Oh yeah, but we we had a movie commentary. I don't know. We did ask, we did we talk did. about the some uh, Russian guy. Steven uh, Seagal was uh, like uh, lucky. We, we were lucky enough to get him on the show. Oh, it's great! It's fantastic. Mm-hmm. That's for my wife. Okay. Hey guys, guy. I have a question for you. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Um, do you guys suffer from down under? What? You know, in the bedroom. <laughs> um, well, I, for <laughs> argument's there. sake, I'll say something. sure. <laughs> well, do I have a pill for you? Oh, really? Pill. Okay, Tell go me ahead. More. Narcotics, I like it. It's a little blue pill. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Well, Except this I'm, time? I'm, yeah. You don't need a doctor. Oh. What? That's it's kind of bad hymns. idea. For hymns.com. For hymns. Erectile dysfunction. For because hymns. you know, you want a shit ton of blood rushing down to your penis? Listen to a yeah. podcaster explain that you don't need a doctor to buy a pill. Wow. Now is this for him? It's like F O R H I M S or F O R H Y M S? Like him. is it for, sing- for singing? <laughs> for singing Are we songs? Singing hymns or is it him? That's My dick is right bigger. Which four hymns? Hymns. You're still not answering the question, but it, okay. He's not answering the question. He's legally obligated not to answer that question. Legally, I cannot <laughs> answer that question because if anyone blows their penis out mm. with a shit ton of blood. <laughs> We will definitely not be. We don't want to be responsible. responsible. We don't want to be responsible for anybody's dick. Not being sponsored today by Hims <laughs> for Hims dot com. For Hims for Hims dot com. Guess how you penis, spell it? Listen we don't to know. a podcaster explain how much money they need to take about a pill that you should probably go see a doctor for. <laughs> but we're, we're not advising that. <laughs> we're not advising it. Forhims.com. Forhims.com. All right. Uh, people have been asking us question after question about stories and entertainment news. About our penis? In our penis for weeks uh, <laughs> since we've been on vacation. So I, I think uh, the perfect person to field some of these questions would be Roger Ebert. But since he's dead, mm-hmm. we're going to yeah, let Matthew dead. Stewart do it in a little segment called Questions from the Crowd. Ooh, he did. He did. Some people shoot first and ask questions later. We, on the other hand, ask questions first. Then we shoot things. It's questions from the crowd with Matthew Stewart. Oh, yeah, okay, don't get me wrong. I was more than happy to show up to his kid's birthday and smash a kid in his son's face. And I, and I understand his wife's in jail, but she shouldn't have stolen this fucking manatee. If you don't believe me, I'm pretty sure it's still up on Seth Green's Instagram. That guy's a real dick. <laughs> Now, uh, I'll take some questions now. Uh, Mr. Stewart, Mr. Stewart. Hey. Mr. Stewart, Mr. Stewart. Hey, that, that, uh, the, the little short guy with the uh, short pants. Uh, you, you, over there on the left. <laughs> uh, Deacon Dix, uh, Anchorage Press. Uh, Dix, huh? thoughts, uh, thoughts about the uh, Aquaman horror movie centered around the, the trench creatures. Uh, what, what's your thoughts on that? The Aquaman horror movie? It's an Aquaman horror movie now in the works. What's, what's an Aquaman? Superhero. You mean a guy who's uh, in the water? A man of Jason water Moore man? Oh, uh, there's fish a, there's and a stuff. horror movie about it now, huh? So, well, um, don't really have much of an opinion about it. It's uh, kind of like, well, this is typical DC, so they don't know what the fuck they're doing anyway. This is a spinoff, a sequel. What the f- you, you tell me what this is, uh, uh, Dick. Dicks, right? Dicks? <laughs> Name Dicks? Deacon, Dicks De- 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 is my, right. my, my surname, sir. All right, uh, Deacon Dick. Uh, you, you, what, what do you think about it? Uh, what do I think about it? Uh, yeah, I, I think. All right, the regular okay. get, 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 get him out of here. Next question. Okay, I don't want to talk about I, this. You ask me a question. No. Out of here. Please. Yeah, yeah. Yes. All right. Hey. 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 The guy Hi. with the. Uh, for some reason, he's got a Abraham Lincoln hat. Um, you, well, thank you. Yes. Uh, yeah, you John did. Jinker Heimber Smith, uh, Fox News. Oh, that's my name too. I don't go know. ahead. <laughs> um, there's a report coming out from the White House that says Hitler might have been right. Your thoughts on this? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> well, what? <laughs> well, from a uh, from a uh, red-blooded Jewish man, um, maybe. All right, next question. We're going to the next one. Who, who, who yeah, else? Mr. Uh, Stewart. Uh, Mr. Uh, Stewart. Uh, Stewart. Uh, Stewart. Uh, the, uh, Stewart. Uh, they're, they're really... God, are you wearing a, a 
child skeleton outfit for Halloween right now? You, you, yeah, you, you can. What do you, oh, what do you, got, uh, what do you got from uh, me right now? I'm a really big fan of uh, the first half of Karate Kid. Uh, Dean Windass, okay. uh, the Porcupine Gazette. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, Hustle and Flow director is making a coming to America. What's situation. your name, what you though? About that? You didn't tell me your name. Dean Windass. I just told you. Dean, Dean Windass? Okay, yes. give me something. I just the Porcupine Gazette. The Hustle and the Flow director is uh, making uh, a Coming to America sequel. The Hustle. You mean the, you mean the uh, the white guy who also made uh, Black Snake Moan? I, I think that's the same guy. Yeah. Okay. What's he doing again? A coming to America sequel. Ah. Okay. Well, so he's making a, a Coming to America uh, remake, huh? Is it going to have uh, Eddie Murphy in it? I, I I would I would I would suppose. Sir. Is it is it gonna have multiple Eddie Murphys in it? <laughs> that's a, that's a that's a very good bet. Is, is it gonna have the guy that was in ER in it? Oh, Eric LaSalle. Yeah, him. <laughs> well, Eric really LaSalle knows was him anything else what? other than the guy from cute. coming to. <laughs> he was in Logan, sir. Oh, okay. Well, um, yeah, coming to America. That's a giant waste of fucking time. Next question, please. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Deep. David Smith, okay. uh, Fox News. Uh, the report God, out, of the, sir, you fucking stink. out of the White House right now is the urgent matter of Eddie Murphy coming back to America. Uh, your oh. thoughts on Trump uh, sending uh, the security uh, to secure the border, uh, mm. to not allow Eddie Murphy mm. to mm. Uh, make a sequel mm. to uh, his movie. Mm. I mean, I, I've, I've thought about this long and hard because we, we, we can't have actors who are black born in america coming back to america because in this country god damn it uh -huh. 21 savage yes. should be a coming to america because he's uh -huh. american damn it i don't think he's from the a t l i don't think he's white don't think he's who's eddie murphy again and next question, okay. The Ricky guy for some Bono. reason who's wearing the uh, motorcycle helmet uh, uh, and the uh, asses chaps. Uh, yes, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I like, I like how you're good, sir. Thank you, thank you. Ricky Von Wolfensnickel, uh, the Weekly Boomerang. Good name. Uh, speaking of uh, uh, Nazis, Al Pacino uh, uh, and Logan Lerman are doing a Nazi hunting series on uh, Amazon Prime. What do you think about that? Is this uh, real Nazis are hunting or fake Nazis? Uh, I, I, I'm assuming they're real Nazis. Oh, so this is kind of like uh, not. So instead of troll hunter, this is called Nazi hunter. It's like the reader without the sex. Oh, oh, well, God damn it! Hmm. Who's gonna be in this again? Al Pacino and Logan Lerman. Logan Lerman. Who the fuck is Logan Lerman? Logan Lerman. He was in um that thing. Per Perks. Of, oh, that yeah, thing you yeah. do. No, no, no. The Perks of Being a Wallflower. I think. I think it was. In oh, there. okay. He's one. He's, he's one of those old actors. It's one of those uh, whiny white kids. Oh, okay. I think he might have been Percy Jackson. I I, I can't really remember. I the Lightning Thief? We can't have thieves making movies, man. Can't have it. You can't have this. You can hunt Nazis all you want, but you can't be stealing lightning. I'm not going to have it. Anyway, next question. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'll, apparently. Uh, sir, um, the, the man, uh, you have a, uh, that yellow shirt you have is quite dashing. So you, right there. I want you. Yeah. Okay. My name is uh, Harry Colin of the Weekly Daily. Harry Colin, huh? Oh, well, mm -hmm. looks like we have something in common, sir. Yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> the, uh, I, 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 I'm from the Weekly Daily. Uh, uh, the, the Weekly Daily. Weekly mm. Daily paper, yes. Uh, I, and Jason. I, I get it every month, so yes. Yes, thank you. Weekly. <laughs> yes. Mm. Thoughts on Jason. Is the Weekly Daily, Daily or the Weekly, weekly Daily? Because I think I get the Weekly Daily every week. Yes, that's correct. Huh? Okay, okay. What, what do you got for me, uh, Harry, Harry, uh, Harry asshole? Well, thank you. Uh, yeah. Thoughts on Jason Wright means uh, a Ghostbusters sequel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Jason Wright means a uh, sequel. So well, this is, uh, what, Ghostbusters 3, I assume? Uh, are there going to be, uh, you know, are there going to be the original Ghostbusters? Are they back busting ghosts? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're okay. Dead. Well, they're dead? <laughs> Oh well, no! Well, them, yeah, that's true. One of them is one is actually a ghost. Wouldn't it be clever if they actually had to 
get Harold Ramis's ghost and put no, it in the containment no, that, unit? I think that'd be uh, great. Uh, Book it. Offensive. Put it in Paramount or whoever is making this stupid ass movie. Because we don't, offensive. we don't, we don't need another. Uh, whoever's making this movie, Columbia Pictures, whatever. Bring back Leslie Jones and have. That okay. Next question. I'm gonna take sir, a couple. Sir, sir, okay. sir, 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 over here, sir. The sir. Guy, oh, me. I'm gonna go. Sir, oh. sir, I can smell your breath from your mouth up here. I have a problem. Have you been brushing your teeth with dog? I, I brush six times a day. I have a problem. Well, <laughs> give it to me. My name is uh, Ron Tugnut. Ron Tugnut. Okay. Ron Tugnut. I used to know a guy named uh, Ron. Swedish. Oh, I, I knew I recognized you, Rob. What do you, what do you mean you got? What are you doing yeah, later? Sounds Swedish, right? I'm from the uh, the Mountain Monitor. Oh, that's a, that's a good publication. I, I gotta go. We got we got a we got a, a daily uh, writing from uh, our, our, our readers, and and oh. then they had a question for you, and and I'd like to oh. ask the uh, question. Well, let's hear the question. What do you got? They want to know: Are you excited about the Birds of Prey teaser and picks? The birds of prey, huh? Yes, the well, prey of the birds. Yes, the prey of the birds. The birds Man, of prey. is this is this going to be on the old uh, DC Access? Uh, uh, you have to pay to see the show uh, web service or something like that. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure there's a there's a money transaction. A money? Oh, well, <laughs> in my life, I'm no I'm no stranger to money transactions. I'll tell you that much. Um, but hmm. what is that? <laughs> Don't worry about it, guy over there with your weird outfit. I'll get to you later, sir. Actually, is that the same guy who I kicked out earlier for being a dick? And he's wearing a no, 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 no. It's a completely different guy. Completely different guy. I can't deal with this anymore. But birds of prey. Yeah. Next question. That's all. Uh, right. Sir, right. sir, all right. sir. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sir, take two more. I'm gonna take one from you and one from sir, the sir, over there. sir, right. sir, who, sir. Who, first, the guy with the. Uh, sir, are you wearing bowling shoes? Did you just bowl a like? And frame to bowling. Look, look, look! It's it's it, it, it's it's my rat. Uh, uh, Mike Belch, um, uh, San Antonio Galloper. Uh, Racist. You, you take out the uh, check out the uh, that that um uh, Chucky trailer. Chucky, huh? Yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I, I saw it. It's uh, it's uh, you know. But I'm a little confused because aren't there going to be two Chucky movies this year? That's what I've heard. So which one is the real Chucky? Are we going with a different story? Are we going with a story that's been going since the 1980s? What are we really doing here? Is Brad Dourif going to be the, the, the voice? Why is Audrey Plaza, who's like 21 years old, a mom of like a 12-year-old kid? This is really weird. I don't get it. Um, and why is there like a cyborg stuff kind of going on with Chucky where he scans a child's face? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Weird, wild stuff. Uh, okay, it looks okay. Uh, that's all I got. Okay, I got one more question. Yes, uh, yes, who, who, yes, yes, yes. Uh, oh, uh, okay, okay. Oh, hey, hey yeah. how, how, how you doing? I'm doing good. My name's Dick Paradise. Oh, Richard Paradise. I mean, <laughs> is you, I mean, is, is Richard Paradise? Because I, I know a Richard Paradise. <laughs> no, it's Dick Paradise. <laughs> I'm a blogger for Inns.com. <laughs> oh, blogger! Oh. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta. I gotta write this down. What, what, what was your name again, sir? I'm, I'm just. I'm just making sure I got Dick. my notes right. Hey, look. I mean, hey. As in Dick. I. As in Dick. C K. Oh, shit. I, as I, in I, Louis C K. From oh god, Dick. I saw you. I saw you that one time. You 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 somehow came up on my grinder profile. I don't know if I was using it one time, but I saw you that one time. Well, like you're a said, blogger? Like I said, yes, I'm a blogger for hmm. hymns.com. Oh, you... yes. I've, I've been reading a lot about you. have been showing you a lot showing up a lot of my Facebook profile. Yes, yes. Uh, erectile dysfunction hmm. is the leading cause of erectile dysfunction. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Dick, Dick Paradise. Uh, what, 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 what do you got for me? What do you, I mean, you know, what do you have? I hope for your samples. Let me do that again. <laughs> what was your name again, sir? I, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting to write it down. Sorry. Paradise? Dicks? Okay. Paradise? <laughs> got, got it. Got it. I got it. I got it this time. Sorry. 
erectile dysfunction is the leading cause of erectile dysfunction. <laughs> so I've heard. Okay, so what do, what do you got for me, dicks? Uh, thoughts dick, on Zac dick, Efron's dick, dick, Ted dick. Bundy film. Oh, Ted Bundy. He's really hot right now. All the, all the girls are really going for Ted Bundy right now. They want the dick, you know? They want the Bundy. The paradise of Bundy dick. Yeah. <laughs> now, hmm. <laughs> What's your thoughts on Netflix having to send out a press release telling the women he didn't murder people? Hmm. They had to send, out, they had to send a press release out to people, huh? They sent a press release out because uh, women have been getting all hot and bothered because... Uh, uh, on top of uh, Zac Efron's uh, Ted Bundy film, oh. uh, Netflix also has a Ted Bundy documentary, and the women have gotten hot and bothered. Uh, Define hot and bothered. Because uh, I, I really want to know bill. for science purposes. Their pussies got wet. Oh, and, whoa, whoa! Hmm. <laughs> that's pretty extreme. I mean, that's a. I guess you could call that hot and bothered, right, dicks? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? I fucked up. Oh, and I'm out of here. See everybody later. I gotta go. I, I, I gotta, I gotta train again. <laughs> if I train, you basically know what I mean. This has been Questions from the Crowd with Matthew Stewart, a segment that brings your very sanity into question. <laughs> uh, let's do a little TV roundup. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Matthew, what have you been watching in a little <laughs> hiatus? Hmm, what haven't I been watching? I haven't really been watching much. But um a okay, few things actually. Um mm. Ooh, do tell. Yeah. Killing Eve. This is the segment Killing for that. You finally watched Killing Eve. I watched huh? it. Did you, I watched did you all, finish the all whole eight, season? All eight episodes. Uh, Nicole and I watched it. It was uh, it's quite gripping. So am I? Am I the crazy person that thinks the last fucking five minutes of that season makes no fucking sense, or is it me? Um, it's I don't understand little, that fucking. It's ending. a little. Uh, I mean, so spoiler, I guess, spoiler. Though, we won't spoil Killing Eve. I guess we'll one. see what happens in the beginning of season two. Okay. I, don't know. I don't know. Uh, I was very confused. I don't understand. I, don't know. I liked it though. I thought. Uh, I, I like Sandra O, oh, but why is she getting all the credit for? I think I think what's her yeah, name? Yeah, the other girl was way better than she's her. Way better I, I, than Sandra O. Oh. Sandra O oh is great, but the uh, the but I she's Asian. Name. No, that's, well. that's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> These are facts. <laughs> it's uh, like, look, we have enough British white British female actors. I think her name enough. is Jodie Cormer. Is Jody, it Jodie Cormer? She is fucking. Good. She is excellent on the show. She is good, and she, she turns me on. Well, well easy. Oh, oh, I know. It, sadly, her last name is not Cormer. It's Commer. So calm down. Cormer, uh, Cormer. Hey, Cormer now. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it, it's I, I like the show. It's easy breezy. Uh, it's really Beautiful really color, quick. Cover girl. Mm. Yeah, cover girl, man. It's just like it's just like me wearing makeup. Um, easy. Uh, what else? Um, rewatching The Wire right now for the third time. That's that's wow. Have you seen The Wire in HD? <laughs> It looks yes, fucking no. fantastic. It's I like, watched it in college. It's like college. a brand new show. Yeah, I watched it in college on a laptop, so oh. I, I, I didn't. It didn't. It wasn't like you know the experience I wanted. I kind of probably wanted a, a oh. big screen. Well, if you on. remember last year, I watched the entire series. Mm. We're all going, is it my turn next? I got to oh, rewatch the Wire now. Yeah, you got to re- you got to watch it in HD, man. <laughs> Some Blizzard Reviews podcast rewatches the it, Wire. It looks fucking <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, it's great. It's a great show, man. It's one of the, I think they say it's the one of the greatest shows of all time that nobody's ever seen. Yeah, a bunch of, <laughs> yeah. bunch of fucking. It's English good. I, I, I don't know if I would put it at f- top five of all time, though. Hmm. You, you know, wouldn't top shows. What about top shows? Yeah, it's, it's definitely top. a top show. Would you Would you call it a cop so, show? What, 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 what would you call it? A it's crime a really show? fantastic show. But if you think of all the great shows, you know, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good list right there. Yeah, I mean, you have a lot, you have Sopranos up there. Right? I think it's literally every. I like The Wire more than The Sopranos. I skipped really? many what? seasons of Sopranos. Yeah, I think I've only seen the last season of Sopranos in the first. Three what season? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I kind of got I off. I quit. Man. I'm done. I, I was, you know, who maybe not <laughs> I like that show. I don't want to do this anymore. It was <laughs> Joey Pants. I did not like Joey Pants so much. How can you not like, like Joey Pants? Pants? I fucking hated him. I hate. I, I think it, he was so good at being right. so That was the idea. Yes. I know. I hated him. I was like, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't with you. I can't with you. Are I can't you telling with you. me you've only seen the last 
season and the first season? No, no. I said the f- last season, the first, I think, three seasons. Wherever Joey Pants got on. It was the third oh season. My God. You've never seen the first season? No, no. I've seen. Okay, look. I've seen the last season of The Sopranos. I'm having a heart attack. And right I've now, seen DJ. all the seasons in the beginning <laughs> up to when Joey Pants shows up. And then I stopped. So I, maybe I missed only one season. So did you ever see, like, when Steve Buscemi was on the show? Was he? I might have missed that. Was that oh after Joey Pan? I might have missed. I might have missed that. Yeah, yeah. You're Fuck missing you. out, man. It's, it's a good show, but I will say no, it's, it's, it, for it, me, it's, The Wire is better. But the Wire is a better show to me. I disagree. Well, get I mean, The, the Wire has you. one marginally bad here. season, but uh, their seasons, Sopranos, or episodes. I was like, I, I don't, I don't care That's about bullshit. Every episode is a fucking masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I so what do you think about Joey, John, John Bernthal and uh, Vera Formiga? They're going to be do, doing the movie, pre, the prequel movie. Yes, John Bernthal is going to be Tony Soprano. No, I, no. I don't know who I don't know who he's going to be, but I know he's supposed to be in the movie. Tony but, um, Soprano is going to be played by. Who, is it his son? Yes. Ah, uh, is he? Can he act? I've never seen his son before. I guess he acts. You know, looks like him. So that that's actually quite that's interesting. That'd be really awkward. It's like hey, it's going to be real. James Gandolfini's son. You look nothing like your dad. It's like whoops. <laughs> there Whoops. goes my parentage. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> it's the thing about James Gandolfini. If people don't even remember who James Gandolfini is, shame on you. But he's got this thing where he could be scary and a charismatic and a teddy bear all in one. It's weird because, like, there's seen. Like, I always the first time I saw James Gandolfini was True Romance when he's oh. beating the living shit out of Patricia Arquette. You but there's something. Ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. There's something in that scene where it's like he's so likable, even though he's a horrible, horrible yeah, man yeah, yeah. beating on this woman. <laughs> How do you capture that? There's not a lot of actors that can capture that whatever he oh, had. Maybe his son has it. I don't know. I've never. Maybe seen he's got that. It. He's got. We that. shall see. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, and uh, two dope queens on HBO. Been watching. What the that. fuck is that? That's what the what uh, Nicole's got me watching that on occasion. It's uh, what is it? Phoebe Robinson and Jessica Williams. It's like a stand-up comedy variety show. It's thing. women trying to be funny. Two oh! Dark queens, oh, easy there. Two oh! Dark queens, then. What's the name? I'm look. I'm looking it up right now. I'm gonna put it on my. I'm put it on my list. Phoebe Robinson. She was. She's been in Broad City. At least one episode of Broad City. Oh, Jessica, you got me. Jessica Williams is a. Uh, she was a writer, or still is a writer on the Daily Show, I, I believe. Okay. I don't know. I'm gonna check it out. It's it it's 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 only like four episodes. It's like. Hour long comedy sets, basically. She was on a show. You know, I have no Phoebe Robinson. She, I think she's on the, or was on the an episode of the Bechdel cast. I remember. Uh, she was in a movie called I Love Dick, or a, a show called I Love Dick. Oh, so yeah, I'm in. Well, Didn't we talk? Oh, and she was. Oh, she was the funny chick from Ibiza that, in the Netflix movie. I, I'm the only one that watched. <laughs> oh yeah, she was one of the chicks with the chick from Community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, Jillian, Jillian, not Jillian. What, what show? Uh, it's a movie called Ibiza. Oh, oh, I watched that love I show. Know. Rob Stark is in that show. I think he was the or movie. He was no, the yeah, uh, love Stark interest. Like the love interest. Like, I want to go fuck that guy. It's like, all right. <laughs> Abiza, check it out. Netflix. Uh, <laughs> AKA, I want to fuck Rob Stark. <laughs> AKA the fuck Rob Stark movie. Uh, <laughs> Justin, <laughs> you haven't really been watching much. Um, you fucking asshole. But I watched uh, the entire last season of Game of Thrones. So there's that. I know what happens. Oh, you know what happens? So, yeah. Am I in the minority? I feel like I, I, as well, time has <laughs> passed, I'm in the well. Other than it's that, it's a joke. It's a joke. Uh, that I really think I this the last season was one of my favorite. Se- I think six and seven are my favorite season, but people are really like good. down on. Six you know what seven. it did? It did. It did what Billions did too. You know, like what I told you, I watched Billions right mm. in the first season, and then I stopped, and I was like, I get it. Like. <laughs> How far <laughs> you're rich? I get it. Okay, I get. How, I get how far it. can they take this? And like, I, I took bet some time you're a billionaire. Off. All right, fuck off. You know, I took some time <laughs> off, and by time off, I mean like a couple years. Uh, and <laughs> then I was like, hey, they got season two, and they got season three, and season four is about to come out. And then I watched. I don't know if you remember. I watched. I it was like heroin. Yeah, so yeah good. you could. You could it you got better and better. It. Yeah, you kept. And then it ends. Yeah, I think that step back. That yeah. third season ends, and you're like, holy fuck, yeah. <laughs> Poured in my butthole. <laughs> Billions in your butthole. <laughs> Which I think is next next month comes out. Yeah, next month, yeah. Right. Does, At the does, end of this month Paul or whatever. Does have somebody like pour something in his butthole in that show? Sure, yeah. Maybe, he yeah. does a whole bunch of creepy stuff. He's into that stuff. Yeah, he's a creep in that show, stuff. right? He's into yeah. all that creep. No, we're, we're, I mean, we're not making not a joke. Not that, if you watch Billions, Paul Giamatti's like a... 
a sex deviant in that. What's fucking wrong with that? What's wrong with? Oh, no, nothing. 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 I, I wish there was more of it. Oh, yeah, well. thank you. I I have a room dedicated to it. I wish we could yeah. help you, Paul Giamatti. It's my it's my game room or whatever the fuck they call it in Fifty Shades. Have you ever seen the movie Shit. From Beyond? Oh yeah, with a with a Lovecraft uh, movie. Yes. I have that, that exact room. <laughs> you did? Exactly. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh. Hey, hey now. Hey. You know what I did watch? Mm. What'd you watch? <laughs> I watched this little little Netflix show mm. called the. Uh, let me let me see if I can. I forget what it's called. That's how good it was. It's called The Punisher Season 2. Oh, yeah. oh so did you finish? Because I'm only on episode 9. No, I, I kind of stopped. I'm trying to figure out how to kill myself. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 I, my sister's asking me about it because she's about to start it. She's like, is it good as Season 1? I'm like, no, no. The only thing that's as good as Season 1 is John Bernthal. It's, it's, it's like, another thing about like the Sopranos thing I was talking about earlier. James no, no, Gandalf it has nothing. Is, is, Sopranos has, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, 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 no! Follow me here. Follow me here. Okay, I'll let, I'll follow. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. For I while. fell off of Sopranos because it was going in a direction I didn't I, I didn't like, but it wasn't because I hated the portrayal of that James Gandolfini was giving. John, Punisher season two was got is kind of goes on a trail I didn't like, but Jan, John Bernthal is still excellent as Frank Castle. So it's like, well, should, I'll should I finish this? Disagree should with I? you on that one because oh. at least if you watched Sopranos. You would yeah, see yeah. Well, that here we go. there was a point, and uh-huh. they make it work. Where Punisher, as we talked about season one, they could yeah. end it, and that's it. Because that it was perfect. Yeah, it was absolutely was perfect. perfect. Yep. Um, season two, if anyone has not watched it. Me, I have not. <sighs> it's it's, it's not a rough good. few episodes. And they have some... I would say some good ideas. They stole episodes straight from Fargo, like literally. Remember the episode where uh, was it? Mm, season two I give you that. I could probably give you that yeah. when they're stuck in the police station. I or didn't some think shit? about that. It's the same fucking episode with Frank Castler. <laughs> but it was like, it was like they got all new writers or something. Yeah, and they it's were the like, same, "Hey it's guys, it's there's a him. box of some ideas in there. You could just yeah. pick them out and throw something together. We don't care." I, I got pissed off because. The pacing you got a, is terrible. You, you, you got you got the character of Jigsaw, who's essentially the, the Punisher's Joker, and they set him up so well at the end of season one because he gets his face destroyed at the end. Spoiler, well, of that's season another one. issue. Yes. And then they see him in the fucking beginning. He you looks like he looks like he got like cut shaving. Yeah. Like they, somebody yeah. put a side by side of of the. The Ben Barnes as Jigsaw in the season, Punisher season two, mm. and then uh, the, the guy Jigsaw and goddamn Warzone. No, they had they had well, yeah, well, that, and they had Warzone. the one with uh, Crossbones from Civil War. Uh, yeah, oh, Civil War. Yeah. Civil War. He's like, how does he have worse scarring? As, yeah, he looks more like Jigsaw. <laughs> yeah, he looks more like Jigsaw <laughs> yeah. as Crossbones. <laughs> it's, it's like so, it's, it's so like bad. a different team. Came. It's like it's like the parents took over. But I mean, like give the him scars. That's the college, whole fucking. And the parents point. are like, we can continue this. <sighs> I, honestly, I think he has three scars on his face, not and they're not two. bad scars. They're like movie, super a- action you rub, movie you rub scars. A little like coconut butter on that. Yeah, thing. Like he, yeah. he has John McClane well, scars, like on his face. <laughs> they're not scars. They're like oh, beauty marks. He's yeah. Jigsaw for Christ's sake. <laughs> yeah, it's, he, just, he just looks more rugged. <sighs> he looks we handsomer. Have, <laughs> listen, we yeah, only have X I'd amount fall. of time on this earth, and you don't need to waste it with season two. I mean, Burnthal. I, I would just say Burnthal's good. Burnthal's still good. I, I can he watch him play Frank. Is, is he the one that you you would maybe see him go into the actual uh, Marvel universe? I fucking wish. Oh, yeah, they should just them. pop him into a movie. Well, if I had to pick, he would be number two. If I had to pick well, the person from the Netflix show, the, the, if I had to pick the person from the Netflix shows that I would put in an MCU know. over everybody, it's D'Onofrio. Easily. Okay, yeah. He, yeah. Kingpin is fucking amazing. I'm it, calling, I would, man. Season three. Or season three. I, I would uh, put him in Spider Man. I put him in Spider Man. I I would put him in. He's gonna go because he wants to do it. He says it all the time on Twitter. Yeah, I'd love it. I'd love to be fucking king. But he fucking uh, signs the petition to bring Daredevil back. He loves playing that character. So fuck, what the fuck? Like Kevin Feige, this doesn't him and him and the the, 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 the television. I'm sure, those motherfuckers have something up their sleeves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, once once this uh, fucking Disney fucking how, Fox, however, however many fucking more dollars everybody's gonna have to start paying for this shit. I swear to God, I'm going to spend more money on this shit than fuck I ever spent on fucking cable. Nobody's ever going to go to Disney World anymore. They're going to be stuck in their fucking house watching Disney Plus. 
<laughs> fuck, fuck the greatest place on earth. We're gonna be watching it on TV. <laughs> the greatest place on earth is my couch. My couch. Uh, my fucking couch, man. <laughs> yeah, it's season season two. It's not. It, it's, it, you know, it's reminded me of Justin. Atrocious. It's reminded me of Jessica Jones season two. Yeah, no, that was pretty bad too. Uh, um, seems like every season two was really bad for every. Distance. But da- Daredevil uh, season three was fucking amazing. I, I, was like, I liked all the Daredevil seasons. I think I like season two. I think. I think season yeah, but two, threes, threes, amazing. Threes, threes, yeah, threes, threes really abs. good. <laughs> you know what? Three, three, three felt Nolan-ish. Yeah, I think you they know. copied Nolan. Uh, not copied like uh, like in a in a shitty way. Copied in like in we, a good we way. want to no, no, make no, no, it. No, no, they they got they got it. Want right, to get that man. tone. Want to get that. There's I mean, that and tone. again, that was a season where if Literally. when they cancel it, they could end it right there. It ends so well. I don't need another season of Daredevil. You no. Don't need it. <laughs> You can well, have him yeah. show up somewhere else, but you don't need him anymore. You don't. Yeah. You, you need it anymore. There's nothing more to explore. Well, with Matt Murdock, like really. Matt was just saying. I mean, I guess. I guess if we got a season four, there's the chances is quite high that it might have a tumor. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it maybe might. it's best. But of course, I think we all realize what really is happening behind the scenes and what yeah. they're doing with mm-hmm. the plus of the Disney's. Yeah. yeah. So, Netflix is not keeping any original, non-original programming. Essentially, if it's well, Netflix own... is also raising prices yet again. For yeah, yeah. Hulu is the only thing that's going down in price. Hulu actually just went down, I think, two or three bucks. Did it really? And D- Disney yeah. owns Hulu <laughs> now. And I, they... I still, I still have uh, Blu-rays. I get and DVDs from Netflix, and the pricing of that has stayed the same. But what I used to get is a one day turnaround where let's say if they picked up my copy on tuesday they'd get it on wednesday ship it out on thursday Mm. i'd have my dvds and blu-rays in my mailbox lately since they've raised the prices of the streaming it's taken two to three days that doesn't make any sense at all no i don't know if it's a complete opposite what it's a post office issue (laughs) or or what but um (sighs) it doesn't even seem worth it anymore now for that you know? Is there going to be it's, enough shit on Netflix to necessitate a price increase no. for you to keep said things? You know what they can do? What? Four seasons of Toast to London. Oh, if you want me to... Oh, boy. I'll pay for if a whole you, year up front. If you want me on your fucking streaming service, fucking high... Well, you know what? Fuck that. No, Matthew Barry's on the fucking new... Um, uh, what we do in the shadow show? Fuck it, fuck it. Though I'd lo- I would love to do a compare. Yeah, what's it going to be? Show. Isn't it going to be on Hulu or something like that? Or I think it's Amazon? FX. Is it Amazon? I think it's FX. Oh, it is FX. Okay. Yeah, FX yeah, now yeah. or something. something yeah, like FX yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, whatever fucking streaming service they have now. I guess. No. I mean, I is love. It on, is it broadcast or is it just stream only? I don't know. No. That's a good no. question. I saw the trailer and That's I fucking I laughed my ass. But only problem with the trailer was it wasn't enough Matthew Barry. That was the only thing I didn't like. Get back. I mean that. They captured the feel of it in that trailer. It feels it feels just like the movie, uh, what we do in the shadows, a Taika Waititi movie. But I, I, I always I'm forget in. that he directed that. It's fucking great. That, if you haven't seen what we do in the shadows, talented Mister Fucker. And I, <laughs> I was I was on I was on the I don't want to see it I don't want to see it and I watched it on a fucking flight. And yeah. holy shit, I was rolling I was rolling down the aisles. The fucking flight attendant had to pick me up. It was fucking hilarious. It was. They had to <laughs> land the plane. They had to land the plane. I was fucking put. I ISIS had to search. and everything came. You know what I'm saying? I was yeah. deported. It was crazy. We claim him as our own. <laughs> the black man rolling down the aisle. <laughs> Watini did it. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's clearly Islamic. He's, he's making Watini. up words. Get a load of him. That ain't English. <laughs> That's not a word. Um. <laughs> Put I watched uh, anyway. Sex Education on Netflix. I watched. I watched Friends. the trailer numerous yeah. times. I, was, I, and I watched it for Jillian Anderson because she's. Um, I watched the trailer numerous. It's, times. it's not a bad show. It's. Not, uh, I watched the trailer. It's all right. Okay. Asa Butterfield's kind of annoying in it. Numerous um, times. It, 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 the problem with that show, I, I feel bad every time I watch it because I really wanted Aza Butterfield at the time to play Peter Parker, and like I'm watching that. him now, I'm like, God, I was like, wrong. Oh, I was, I was so fucking wrong. <laughs> he could not be Peter Parker. No, I mean, what's that name? You know, Aza yeah, Butterfield. Aza like that. Butterfield. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan. He's, of he's all right. I mean. He plays an awkward teenager, so technically, you I guess he's no daughter of mine. I'm going to be dating a Butterfield. Yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't see him as Spider Man. I like back then I could, and now I, I just no, I can't see it. Tom Holland just takes over. Uh, Jillian Anderson is great in that show. I see him as the thing. Uh, 
I could see him as Harry Osborn, maybe, but that's about <laughs> it. Uh, <laughs> I was just trying um, to find something where you don't see him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I saw I saw friends from college with uh, Keegan Michael Key and uh, um, oh, was that? that was just and, kind of how come you didn't invite me? Uh, oh. yeah, I, sorry, uh, <laughs> sorry, Justin. But, uh, it's it's show, sorry about uh, Justin. Uh, no, um, but it, no. I, the show was okay. Fred Savage is the reason to watch it. He is fucking fantastic. Well, in Fred it. Savage is in it. Yeah, Fred Savage he's is like him. the um, Keegan's gay uh, best friend or whatever, and he's, gay. Uh, he's He's, gay? he's married to Bill. Is he, Eich, is, or, he is he under the bed gay? No, no, no. It's him and Bill uh, Ech, uh, Ech, 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 What's Billy Eckner. Billy Eckner. Yeah, they're 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 uh, lovers. Yeah, yeah. They and their their partners. dynamic is great because you think Billy Eckner, you're thinking over the top Billy Eckner, but no, Billy Eckner in the show is very like reserved, you know, kind of. Oh, he's not like, hey, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. Yeah, no, okay. he's like the a- he's like the asshole boyfriend, but like he's an- only an asshole because everybody else in the show is zany, and he's kind of rational, so he comes off like an asshole. <laughs> but he's, so he's like not very as, like he's not as big of an asshole as uh, in that difficult people show. No, no, no. He's very he's very. It's the most normal Billy Eckner role I've ever seen. <laughs> but Fred Savage is great. Keegan Michael Key is great. Uh, I just it's okay. I-, I would watch it for Fred Savage. He's very good. Although he's not in it a lot, but I just watched uh, Wonder Years again. Oh, watch Wonder Years, which is a, a fucking fantastic show. Yeah. Um, what else did I see? Oh, I saw. Oh, Jesus Christ! I Only saw three Death. shows this time, DJ. Jesus. Yeah, I'm sorry. What? Deadly, Deadly, the one with the uh, Benedict Prank. Wong. Um, Deadly Assassins, Deadly whatever. Deadly. Uh, Fre- uh, Freddie, Freddie, our friend Freddie uh, recommended it to me. Huh. I think I'm. I forget. Deadly, Deadly. <laughs> class, sorry, I couldn't remember the name. It is. Uh, oh, is that a- Deadly School or whatever it is. Sir? Deadly School, yeah, yeah. Some shit. Deadly Class. Some Ninja somebody. Jubilee in it. It does have Jubilee in it. Yeah, I forgot. I knew I recognized it from somewhere. Uh, It's too boring for a show about a school full of assassins. (laughs) Like, I'm watching, like, season episode two, and I'm like, God, come on. Is that on Netflix? (laughs) It's on uh, Hulu, I think. Hulu? I think it's a Hulu series. I watch it legally. Uh, But uh, (laughs) But Hulu's going um, down price, baby. Yeah, it's true. But yeah, it's it just for just for what it is. <laughs> one, not enough Benedict Wong for me because what he's great on the show. He's just in like maybe I can tell he's flying in and out from doing <laughs> Avengers shit because he's barely in the fucking show, and uh, it's just not exciting enough. And the lead is like the lead character is an asshole, but he's not like a cool asshole. He's an annoying asshole. You know how I feel about Joey Pants and and like uh, everybody in Boardwalk Empire. If it's an asshole, everybody's you don't an asshole. Want to keep the asshole. I, you know what I'm saying? Give me cool asshole. I, I can follow cool asshole, but if everybody's annoying, I what, I don't care. Henry Rollins is really good in it. Henry <laughs> Rollins is in it? Henry Rollins is in really? it. He's a, he's, I like he's Henry a, Rollins. He's the, he's the poison professor. They teach these kids how to kill, and he's like the uh, poisoner, and he's pretty cool, but he's only in like, oh, I don't nice. know, five minutes of the show. But yeah. Hey, you grab hey, motherfucker. Yeah. I, if all the shows I watched that were uh, the best, I would say sex, sex education was probably the best one. I, I, I laughed. <laughs> Though it's very I totally think he weird. talked the least about that show. He's liked it the most. <laughs> I said Aza Butterfield. Aza Butterfield, Julian Anderson. Oh, yeah, we were talking about him. Yeah, we were talking about the most, He's like... the star. Un- oh, and the girl, the, girl on, I'm gonna date a the girl on Sex Education looks like... I, I said this on Twitter. Uh, a witch did a spell on Margot Robbie and made her a teenager. She looks Ooh, exactly like God. fucking Margot Robbie, but a 17-year-old Margot Robbie. You it is so creepy. Me, like, I, sir. I can't, like, if g- g- look up Sex Education and look up the actress. You'll see her. Already it's, done. It, <laughs> she, she looks like Margot Robbie's <laughs> younger sister or something. It, it's creepy. Like, the whole, every every scene she's in, I'm like, is that Margot Robbie? What? Marco, what happened? To you? It's like it's like Morgana Le Fay did a spell and turned her into a fucking teenager again. But yeah, uh, it's a good show. I would recommend that and uh, skip everything else. And I've been watching Great uh-huh. America, Greatest, the Great British Baking Show because I love British people. Um, you know, uh, F- you know, Phoebe what? Robinson nicknames her boyfriend British Bake Off. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> now I'm in. <laughs> You've sold me. Nah. You know, <laughs> this isn't a TV show, but you know what I watched the other day. What hmm. that Pulse movie? Oh, oh which one was that uh, one? Well, <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> it's a pass. comic book movie. Oh, go ahead I and pass on, on that Netflix. One. Oh. Yeah. Played by Lashif. Yes, 
Oh, is, is yeah, it a comic movie? Uh, I saw he had the eye patch, and I'm like, this uh, looks dumb. Okay, Ace is I got fooled, but did you guys know what it looked like? It looked like, like I, got, I watched it for about 10 minutes, and I was like, yep, I'm good. I watched the whole time. Matt ejected it. quickly. It, it gets better toward the end. Oh, How good. I have, to, I have to sit through fucking two hours to get something good. How yeah, long is it? Well, I don't know if you get anything good. Oh, it gets better toward but, the end, but you don't get anything good. That's, that's a paradox. That's a, anyway. Not that's big any sense at all. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, I'm the only one that watched it. I, I saw the trailer. I, saw, I was like, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I didn't sell me. I saw Johnny Knoxville get killed with his. I, giant I saw owner. too much. I saw too much of mute in the trailer. It looked like mute. I'm like, nah, I'm not being fooled again. We won't get fooled again. No, 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 no. <laughs> not again. After, I, I, after Blink I like or Bright or whatever the fuck it was called, and, and Bird Box, and, oh, and yeah. even though I didn't mind Bird Box that much, and fucking mute, I'm like, nah, man, you're gonna have to win me over and with Tao. Don't forget about Tao. Oh fuck, Jesus Christ! Oh, I, I did like Maniac. Maniac was good, but that was a show. So yeah, that was a show that. though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, let's, yeah we gotta take a little. <laughs> we gotta take a little break and then play like, Polar. Oh, polar. <laughs> <It's called> polar. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not what called happened? Pulse. It's not called Pulse. It's called Polar. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I knew polar, exactly what you were talking yeah. about though. The fucking the eye patch. I was like, I was like, it's like, it's like, Mads Mikkelsen movie. Pol- is it, is it, the movie with uh, James Franco's brother? <laughs> Are the phones that kill people? That's how great of a movie it was. <laughs> I, I, but I knew exactly what you were talking about. I, I knew. Yeah, we did. You <laughs> said, I was like, yeah, yeah. There's, There's the good fucking stuff. Mads Mikkelsen, the Mads Mikkelsen movie. There's good stuff in it. It's just, it's like they found somebody who's like, hey, you make YouTube videos? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Kinda, yeah. Hey, you want to make a movie? No. Yeah. You going to pay sure. me? Sure. 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 Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Here you go. Here you go. Make a movie, idiot. Oh it's got um, Vanessa... Um, Hudgens. Vanessa Hudgens is in it. Yeah. Her yeah. acting. Um, it's not, she's not an actress. She she is. She's trying to act. Is oh, that's, that's, that's admirable. She's trying to act. <laughs> admirable. But she does not accomplish it <laughs> at all. And she's I in think another... Her, her best acting performance was in Sucker Punch. And think that's us saying that. a lot. Think yeah. about that. I feel like she was better in Spring Breakers, if anything. Well, oh, I, you know what? I would take it. I take it back. She was better in Spring Breakers. You are one hundred percent correct. <laughs> I forgot about she, it. She, that must be her masterpiece. I mean, it she is. seems like a nice person and all, She's, and nothing. She has her. James Franco <laughs> fillet a handgun in that movie. Doesn't but it? holy shit! Oh my I god! Watched, yes. There's a movie with um, with uh, who's in it? Matt? Is it Matthew Broderick? Is in it? Oh, please not Matthew Broderick. <laughs> It's one of those like shitty movies, direct to uh, DVD essentially that she's in it, and she kind of plays the same character almost. But she only has God. one speed, which is I'm I'm kind of pretty. Look at me. <laughs> that's her, that's her I'm speed. trying to act. Yeah. <laughs> and she tries to me. cry. It's yeah. kind of sad. Remember High School Musical? I did that. <laughs> Remember like, when no, I used to be Zach Efron? Yeah, I was fucking Zach Efron. I, <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Juice, deep <Juice>. pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she has one speed. She's actress girl. Yeah, so hey, <laughs> that's essentially what she I'm was saying. I'm going to say these words they gave to me to read and <laughs> remember. I have the script in my hand still. During filming, yeah. so I'm just gonna read it <laughs> as we read film. It. As we film it, fuck it. it was... <laughs> as, as Mads, uh, Mads I don't know where my parents like, went. What the fuck are you doing right now? But I love like you. you act. <laughs> they left <laughs> me years ago. Like can you not act like me? Since <laughs> you've been gone, <laughs> I couldn't breathe <laughs> for the first time. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> uh, I just want to kill myself. <laughs> Do you like? Movie podcast hosted by inebriated people That's Kai with the cracking voice and Heather's touched by evil One thinks he's Spider-Man, the other is a ninja It's the Man I Love Film Podcast, it's the MILFcast Hey everybody, I'm Kai And I'm Heather And we are the hosts of MILFcast, the Man I Love Films Podcast The unofficial, official podcast of manilovefilms.com This is the podcast where we like to talk about what we've been watching, talk about movies But mainly we just like to drink, be silly and play a whole bunch of games. So we think every other week you should grab a drink, snuggle up, and let us make sweet love to your ears. Otherwise, we'll make sweet love to your couch. 
So come and find us on iTunes. Just search for MILFCAST. This is MISCAST Entertainment with your hosts, William Davis Moore, Greg, and JJ. Every week, these misfits will make it their mission to bring you irreverent entertainment reviews, entertainment news, gaming videos, film-inspired food and drinks, fun facts, and more. Now, get your ass over to YouTube so you can absorb this shite into your brain meat through your eyeballs. We are Miscast Entertainment, and we are here to amuse you. We are starting the year off right with murder, gratuitous sex, and a meaningful relationship. It's Kill, Fuck, Mary. Kill, Fuck, Mary. This is the game where we, uh, I throw out three things, and uh, Matthew and Justin are going to have to decide which one Ooh, they would kill. This is exciting. Have we played this before? Yeah, really? we played this. Yeah. Hey, have you heard about this? Have you heard about this? It's Kill, Fuck, Mary game. Huh? Huh? Uh, heard about this? Heard about this? Uh, we're, uh, well, I have Matthew. a story for you. <laughs> Mary Steenburge? Mary Steenburge. Um, <laughs> I'm going to throw out. <laughs> I'm going to throw out three things, and Matthew and Justin are going to decide which one they would kill, which one they would fuck, and which one they would marry. Uh, the first and the one, loser okay. has to wear blackface. And the the, one, oh, <laughs> the no. loser is the governor of Virginia. Here we go. Uh, which one? I don't, I, who knows? <laughs> the lieutenant governor is apparently raping people. Here we Stay go. Stay tuned. Uh, <laughs> the first one. Uh, the first group. Uh-huh. <laughs> SVU, CSI, and CIS. Ah. Uh. Kill, fuck, Mary. Ooh. <laughs> Letters. <laughs> SVU, Law and Order. CSI, doesn't matter. NCIS, spinoff of uh, Jack. <laughs> I'd probably fuck <laughs> NCIS. Really? Not Special Victims Unit. That's say, ironic. I feel like a little bit of a layup. Special Victims <laughs> Unit, I'm marrying. Oh, Re- oh you're He's marrying Special Victims Unit. Flipping it on its head. Wow. I'm trying to give it some, some release. He's, he's some treated, he's wait, 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 wait. The way it needs to be treated. CSI or CSI Miami? Either one. doesn't matter. Oh, that's a good Wait, wait. That's a good question now. Yeah. Because yeah. they're two different I can flip shows. That could flip. Okay, hold on. Okay, let me think. Yeah. What, what, I'm yeah, going to say. CSI, I'm going to say CSI New York. Boom. I'm going uh, with Lieutenant Dan, bitch. What you, what you got now? Lieutenant uh, Dan. What you got now? Yeah, I'll kill that. I'll kill that. I'll kill that. <laughs> The suspense Good wasn't even there. Damn. There was no suspense. Nah, but you said Miami. I fucked. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, you're fucking. Yeah. You're gonna get all in Horatio he Kane's is. ass. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, oh, you, know gonna, you know what's gonna happen to these gray bands? <laughs> it's in Miami. You Don't better. You, know, you like, better get some uh, rapper ass because I'm rapping something around those gray bands. His name was Horatio Kane. Nobody's name ever has Horatio. ever been Horatio Kane. Not even in Hamlet. Could you imagine? <laughs> If they did that nowadays, oh, fuck. the backlash. Oh man! What is they call somebody Mexican? Horatio Kane? He's not was Mexican. He, was he supposed to be Mexican? Was yeah. he? No, he wasn't. Come on, get out of here! Redhead. Fucking well, redhead. Don't you remember that episode? He wore brown face. David. David. Car- Daniel. He's Car- Daniel Caruso. Brains. Daniel Caruso. <laughs> what the fuck his name is? Dan- Dan- Horatio Caruso. Horatio Caruso. Henry Caruso. <laughs> So you, you're, you said you're marrying SVU, you're marrying Mariska Hargitay. This is the the the, the, the grouping of weird names. Uh, you're you're you're, you're fucking. Uh, what the fuck is the name of the main character in NCIS? Uh, Mark Harmon's character is um, Jethro you're Gibbs. Fu- you're, you're fucking the guy yes. from uh, Summer School. You're fucking Jethro Gibbs. Yeah, awesome. You're marrying Mariska Hargitay, Olivia Benson, and huh. you're. Killing, I don't even know what Gary Sinise's character was in CSI. Gary Sinise. Gary Sinise. Gary Sinise. You did it. I want to tell the rabbits. <laughs> Look over there. Look. Hey, Randy Quaid, turn around. Uh, there's, there's no rabbits to tend here. They're all dead. <laughs> that's enough Mice and Men reference Matthew is making right now. Yeah, I mean, you talk about literary references on the Simplistic Reviews podcast. Cup, children. <laughs> mice and Men. Matthew, so mice and get out of his novel about the Dust Bowl. <laughs> I mean, okay. Matthew Stewart pulling out literary them? shit at <laughs> every turn. <laughs> Are you going to shoot me? Yeah, yeah shoot I'm going to shoot you. You shoot me, George. <laughs> Which way did he go, George? You know what's funny? Yeah. Uh, the little aside. They used to make fun of that on episodes of uh, Looney Tunes, and I didn't know what they were talking about. Which oh, way did he go, yeah, George? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I wa- cause he, I went to hug him and pet him. Oh, he was petting Bugs Bunny. And then when I watched Mice and Women, Men when I grew older, I'm like, Oh fuck! That was dark. <laughs> you know, hey, you know who wore yellow face? Bugs Bunny. 
Oh, and blackface. He had to blow up in his face. Come on. No, Mickey Mouse right. even wore blackface at one point. Everybody wore it. I mean, Donald Duck was a Nazi. Here we go. Again, uh, <laughs> I never. What is... Why? Am I missing something? Uh, you are. You are. Thank God. Uh, here we go. Next group. Uh, <laughs> Full House. Family Matters. Perfect Strangers. Oh, TGIF, motherfuckers. This, this, Kill motherfuckers. This marriage. is the... Uh, so, I mean, I feel like Perfect Strangers was kind of in that weird, not so much TGIF. Well, Family Matters was a spinoff of Perfect Strangers, if you remember. <laughs> Family Matters was a spinoff of Perfect Strangers. Yes, uh, yes. Balky Al and Powell cousin Larry was... were stuck in a in a train station, and Al pa Al Powell's wife worked at the train station from Family Matters. Man, that's that, that is a deep cut. Deep cut, huh? There you go, that's, bitches. That's barely a spinoff. There you go. The yeah. Full House wasn't related at all. They were in San Francisco. But yes, Family Matters and Perfect Strangers are connected. Oh, boy. In a, in a perfect world. Yeah. In a, <laughs> in a strange <laughs> perfect world. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kill Fuck Mary, Full House, Family Matters, Al Pal, and Perfect Strangers. Or Al Pal's wife, I guess. Remember, the daughter from Family Matters daughter. disappeared. <laughs> yeah, where did <laughs> they just go? killed her off. <laughs> I didn't even mention her. She just never came back. Yeah, like like a... Eric's sister in the 70s show. She just disappeared. <laughs> had to write her out. Problem. Ah, boy. Kill, fuck, marry these classic TJF. Uh... Now, if you went, if you went step by step or hang with Mr. I Burr. never watched step by step, so I, I, I didn't want to even get there. Never day watched it. By never day. Day. it had the guy who I think he exposed himself in front of somebody who went to jail for a while. You're gonna have to really. It was like the Indian cousin, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> so many people that I do mean, that now. Listen, a billion people. That could be anyone again, at this point. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Your Honor, what's wrong with that? It's a, it's I'll a, wait for a response. It's a victimless crime. Everybody's happy at the end of it. Everybody's happy. That's I'm gonna, happy. Uh, there. Um. I mean, the animals do it to us every day. Yeah. <laughs> you ever seen a monkey dick? <laughs> <laughs> My dog showed me his dick right now. All right. Uh, <laughs> kill, kill for me. <laughs> Uh, kill Fuck Mary. Uh, kill Fuck Mary. Okay, I'm uh, I'm I'm killing Perfect Strangers. I'm, I'm what? I just I it, it it standing tall on the waves of my dreams. Come on. That is that is bullshit. Fucking Chicago. That's saga stuff, man. Get out of the city. What are you talking about? Fuck that. Fuck. Perfect fucking strangers, perfect fucking dead guys. Wow, um, killing Balky Bartok. Killing from, fucking uh, Balky, killing the guy from fucking uh, True Romance. I perhaps found the conversation earlier. Uh boy, um, that's uh, foreshadowing. It is. Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to <sighs> take your time with this and think. I deep. know. No. So you've killed. You, you, you got a marry full house. This or, podcast or, or is definitely full house. I'm I'm either fucking family matters or, uh, Here, uh, we're gonna make it a little bit easier for you, Matthew. Mm -hmm. There's a guy on Full House called John Stamos who was in a movie called Stargrove. Yeah, Stargrove. Stargrove. They were too young to fuck. Stargrove. Uh, you can always call. You can always call a friend. Yes. I know. Can I, and can hopefully, I, it's can Bob Saget. What am I like? <laughs> Gonna use the lifeline. Hello. <laughs> Hello, did you call me? This is Gene Simmons. Is a, <laughs> Gene Simmons. Hey, Gene. Um, how do you feel about John Stamos in a uh, Full House, Gene? He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Huh? huh? Gene, Gene, Gene did you, were you a man or a woman in that uh, Star Grove uh, Never Too Young to Die movie? What were you? What were well, you? Well, I was. I was a fermaphrodite. A, a what? A fermaphrodite? Is that like a fern? Yes. A fermaphrodite. Well, what is that? You, Listen, all okay. you special listeners out there. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Can get forty dollars. What off. for? Where? 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 Kiss.com. Whoa, of course. Kiss.com, huh? I thought it was him.com. I thought you were, you were part of him.com no, for a second. Him. <laughs> what do they sell? Oh, they got they got this pill. That they it's not really a pill, but we don't even know what it is. But it does oh, we got that too. on Kiss.com. Oh, you, you, oh, you got pills oh, okay. too. Right. Oh man, your listeners can can order that. Comes in a lunchbox. Thanks for calling in, Gene. I, I didn't Gene know you Simmons had this number. Uh, <laughs> we know we, we're having a conversation. I know it's Gene Simmons. You got to keep saying your name. We we kind of know who you are. Uh, uh, thanks, Gene. Com. Thanks for <laughs> coupon. Man, man, that, we, 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 that, we, we, that Gene guy is something. Merchandise. It sounds like he had a very large tongue because you're kind of talking this weird, uh, this weird cadence. It's not, it's, it's not a tongue. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm so stroking <laughs> myself. Simmons of Kiss. We, we, we know in movies. We've established that. Uh. Stargrove. 
<laughs> Saga <laughs> was one of my favorites. Yeah, it's yeah. better than James Bond. Ooh, it's okay. Slow down, slow down, slow down, Gene, 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 dancing machine. What, what are you doing here? Come on, Gene, Gene, the dancing. There's also in another movie. It was in the future. Uh huh. With the mustache guy. <laughs> okay, you got Tom Selleck. I don't. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Person, personally, Gene, I loved your work in Trick or Treat. Oh, you. you're so good in Trick or Treat. So good. I so did that good, with uh, Ozzy. Good guy. <laughs> Kiss.com. What, what was his What was his name, uh, Gene? I, 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 who were you Who were you in that? Stargrove. No, 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 no. Trick or Treat, Gene. Get off the phone, Gene. Get out of here. <laughs> Remember. Really gonna move on. Who gives a shit? Perfect Strangers is dead, and uh, yeah, we're, we're apparently phone. fucking. Uh, <laughs> got the midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Vanity's in um, a. <laughs> All this game talk is definitely making me want to fuck uh, Family Matters and uh, um, Mary. So, uh, house, Mary. Okay. Okay. Oh, work, Gene, Gene <laughs> gave me the uh, inspiration to make those decisions. Maybe. To be honest, you're my inspiration. Okay, here we go. Next group: the Oscars, the Golden Globes, the MTV Movie Awards. Kill fuck Mary. Kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> Kill them all. <laughs> Light them up. It's going to be fucking know. Jonestown here. <laughs> Everybody drink this Kool-Aid. Everybody get a glass. Everybody grab a <laughs> fucking glass. <laughs> Swing it. Kool-Aid here. They're coming. The, ca- the camps. They're coming Jesus. to the camps. Drink it. <laughs> I don't know why any- anyone watches award shows, honestly. <laughs> All right, here's the holiday holdover. Ooh. Boris Karloff's Grinch, Jim Carrey's Grinch, or Benedict Cumberbatch's Grinch? Boris Karloff. He was the original Grinch. Wow. Ah, who's answering this one? Uh, either one. Oh. Um, um, well, I just won, so I'll let you want to? You want to double team this one? Double yeah, team. Uh, all right. You want to say it at the same time? Okay. Okay, so yeah. gonna, <laughs> okay fine. Yeah. Let's, let's start we're with gonna Boris kill. Karloff. We're right. going to start off with Bo- kill. Wait, Boris, oh, we're gonna, okay, we're going to kill first? Okay. Yes. Ready? Okay, so count of kind of three, we're going to say which one we think okay, we're going to okay. kill. Okay. All right. Three, two, two. one. Jim, Jim Carrey. Carrey. Oh! <laughs> They're killing Jim Carrey in unison. Okay. Wow. Well, this could crazy. either go really good or, or really, really bad. bad. <laughs> okay. Okay. They're all, they're I think I know. Best Let's go fuck. Uh, now we're fucking. Okay. okay. So now we're, we're fucking. Here we go. Here we go. Cumberbatch or Boris Karloff? Boris Karloff. Here we go. You ready? All right. Three, two, one. Boris Karloff. Doctor Strange. Damn it! <laughs> 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 and it's destroyed. I always want to fuck destroyed. the mummy. So Matthew, you're fucking uh, the mummy, and Justin is just this, this, this slanging up into Rathacon. I'm trying to build. I'm trying to build. I'm saying Rathacon. I'm saying more Sh- uh, Sherlock. The Wrath of Condom. Oh my god. You're liking Benedict Cumberbatch's character in Atonement. I want you to bite it. Bite it. <laughs> bite my dick. <laughs> bite it. <laughs> Nobody gets that reference. Have you ever seen Atonement? Who, yeah, who, by the way, Atonement? who's ever seen Atonement? Uh, no one. <laughs> <laughs> but then they come imagine Atonement plays like a, a, a pedophile, I guess. <laughs> and like, uh, Sarsha Ronan is like, I think it's Sarsha Ronan. She's like eating chocolate. And he's she he's like watching her eat it. He's like, bite it. <laughs> bite it. <laughs> it's the creepiest shit you've ever seen. <laughs> Just this is before he was cast in a lot of stuff. Cumber bitches, are they still cumber bitches? In- I think they're still cumber bitches. Yes. Okay, cool. uh, here we go. Eat it. Uh, um, Lick it. Shazam. Kazam. John Ham. <laughs> go fuck Mary. Shazam, Kazam, and John Ham. Mm-hmm. Shazam, starring. Zachary Levi, I almost forgot his name. Uh, Kazam starring Shaquille O'Neal and John Hamm starring John Hamm. Remember Kazam when uh, Shaq's grandmother hit somebody in the head with a pan? The fact that you remember any detail from the movie Kazam makes Oh, no, that was person. Steel. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, never mind. You're back to being a normal person. Yeah. <laughs> you're earning your Shaq universes. Yeah, you're getting, you're getting, yeah, you're getting your Shaqs mixed up. Giant Shaquille O'Neal verse. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal verse. Shaquille O'Neal verse. <laughs> <laughs> Shock this. I'm gonna shock this. I'm the dead man. I'm back. Uh, that's not. Let me try to make fun of the way Shaq talks. That's how he. That's how he talks. I know. Sorry. Yeah. That's how this how is talks. reality, people. Uh, Justin, you want you want to double team this one again? 
Yeah, we can double team it. Okay, uh, we're gonna go kill. Way, we're gonna go kill first. Okay, uh, Shazam, Kazam, John Ham, kill first. Okay, so we're gonna kill first. Okay. Yes. Shazam, Kazam, and John Ham. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Ready? We're gonna go. I'm scared. Right. I really am. <laughs> I know. Wow. I can't see if we're on the same page. Okay. This is for all the wait, marbles. Wait, 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 all kill, killing the team. We kill. haven't watched one of them yet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Trust me, you don't gotta watch it to know. <laughs> you don't gotta watch it. All right, to know. here we go. Okay, here we go. Three, yeah. two, yeah. one. Shazam! Shazam! Oh. Yeah! Go <laughs> the All same right. one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I, feel, this I feel better on this one. Okay. All right. Okay. Now we're, we're, where are we going? We're, we're, we're fucking this one. This we're is fucking, fucking this one. Okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. John Hamm. Shazam! Damn it! <laughs> Justin wants to marry. What the fuck's a genie? Uh, he wants to marry John Draper. He's been wanting to marry Don Draper for years. You got to know it's your true. teammate there, Matthew. Uh, <laughs> come on, that was the, that was a layup. But I, mean, I knew but he was we marrying were, John we Ham from the go, get go. I didn't think we were going definitely Don Draper, John Ham. I thought we were just. Uh, that's not, the only Don John Ham there is. There's well, only I like, one no, John Ham. Like, like Lizzie Hamm. doesn't even know what John Ham has been in other than fucking John Madden. Hamm. Are you crazy? John Ham is told about the uh, lap now. Are you saying you want to recount? <laughs> If anyone's lost their erection during this podcast, yes, we are a, definitely we have, not sponsored by <laughs> forhims.com. For Against all staring odds, two things happen. One, the universe. Two, you. Yes. <laughs> Let's all walk right. with our full-on erection. <laughs> Here we go. Last one. Okay. Wes Anderson films, Tim Burton oh, films, David Lynch films. Oh. Ooh, Kill, oh. fuck, Mary. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird films oh, wow. in general. Mm. Well, well, this one's a little easy for me. It oh, is. well. <laughs> Are we gonna do, you, you want this yourself? You want you want to go solo on this? Yeah, you, Justin, go, do a solo act. You want to yeah. go solo, baby? Go solo, baby. Go ahead. All right. I, I think I know where my head's at. Oh, I know where my head's at. <laughs> but, um, it's the only Where's your head at? <laughs> I'm going to start off with Mary. Okay. It's gonna be Burton. Oh, oh you're, 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 you're fucking Burton. You're marrying Burton. You're marrying. Oh, I'm marrying Burton, baby. Oh, you're I'm, all. You're, you're going big fish with Burton, huh? Yes. I'm going 89. He wants to get nuts. I want Rest 89. in peace, Albert Finney. Big fish in him. There you go. For the rest of my life, 89. 89. I'm gonna 89 married. Burton for the rest of my life. Should have been going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> who am I gonna kill? Well. Oh, here we go. I think I, think West I, think I, think I, David I think I know who you're killing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he doesn't like hipsters. That's like me. So he's catching a bullet here. You know, I really did like the Budapest Hotel. I really like Royal Tenenbaums. I think that's one of my favorite films. The, the, the parts do not equal the sum. Mm, that, that could be right. That could be right. That said. Mm, oh. Oh. I do like Eraserhead. You do. Yeah. You're I the do. one. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it. <laughs> um. You, you love Wild at Heart. He is wild at heart. Wild at heart, yes. We all know Nicolas Cage action, dancing uh, like a crazy person. Wizard of Oz remake. Mulholland Drive, I don't care for. Yeah. Never saw all of it. Couldn't it's get weird. through it. It might Dark have been Highway. a bad prayer in my life, but I just Highway. didn't care for it. There's only one David Lynch film that I actually like. So Dude. I'm just going to step back here. <laughs> no, it's definitely not fucking Dune. I can tell you that shit. The straight <laughs> <Well>. story. <laughs> That's it. You got me. I love you- old men riding lawnmowers. <laughs> You also have Twin Peaks. You do. Never liked Twin Peaks. Hated that whole You don't thing. like people talking backwards? No. Yeah, you know what? That was actually... I thought that... I was, I was I very that, creepy. Guys, guys did not edit that. That was just... Well, well, actually, I was right here in the, in the, in the studio. <laughs> that was live in studio. Just a Lizzie doing backwards voice. <laughs> See, mother, I am talented. <laughs> he has talents. You said I'd never do anything with my life. <laughs> you will not do no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Just acting like oh, I want you to be on the lamb as talk backwards guy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Celebrity Lamberty oh, talk backwards great. guy from Twin Peaks. I'm the short guy in Twin Peaks to <laughs> Red Room. Oh, what? This, That's the, the most room. Vegas Lamberty ever. <laughs> <laughs> the Red Room. <laughs> this is a hard one for me. I, I yeah, like. You gotta, you gotta. I like both. Movies from each one. 
I like only. I think I, I like more from one guy than the other, but I don't like hipsters, so I'm like I'm torn on this one. I don't know where the hell you're gonna go. I feel you. I feel you on this one, DJ. This is why we're brothers. You know? mm-hmm. <laughs> I, 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 I my, see my my this head why... says Wes Anderson, yeah, but my heart says I hate hipsters, so I don't know what to yeah. do here. <laughs> no, I feel you. It's like that one time in Budapest. Yeah, man. Grab yeah. Budapest Hotel is fucking amazing. <laughs> That's not what I was talking about. I was talking that, about that one time. The other time oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, the Buddha. That, that, we didn't uh, talk about that. I was even there, and I remember it. Is Saoirse Ronan in that, too? Did I bring up another Saoirse Ronan? Bite it. <laughs> bite it. Bite it. Bite it. So, bite it. <laughs> here's what I'm going to go with. Oh, boy. It's a big time. I'm going to kill... Ooh. David. <sighs> what? I'll but tell he, you why I'm going to kill He would David. like it. Because I want to fuck <laughs> Gene Hackman. <laughs> what? Well, I'm mean, uh, Jeff Goldblum. Oh, he's yeah. right. There you go. See, you know what's funny? I didn't think about that till just now. There's a lot it's the of obvious. Jo- the fuck. I might yeah. even jump to marrying yeah. Wes Anderson because Goldblum's there. That's a I would even. Right there. I might even marry it because yeah. I forgot about him. I know. If it wasn't for '89 and uh, Returns and you know, <sighs> hey, you know. Have you guys some heard other good Jeff Br- Goldblum's Goldburn. jazz album? You got Beetlejuice. I, 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 I would inject Jeff Goldblum's jazz album into my veins. No, that's jazz album. It's jazz album. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Either you one know. works. <laughs> Everybody has a man crush. Mine's Jeff Goldblum. All right, guys, back off. All right, I don't give a fuck. See, there's tiny little variations on T- this tiny, man crush tiny variations. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have. Yeah, uh, this Jeff is the uh, with uh, us. ejaculation uh, about yes. your statement. Uh, what do you think yes, about uh, Justin saying this? Uh, hmm, it's it's quite yes, uh, interesting because I was uh, <laughs> funny enough. <laughs> <laughs> that that's that's that, that's that's chaos. See, now that's that, that's, <laughs> that, that, that's that's fucking. In, uh, you know what? Our... I think I might take that back. <laughs> <laughs> Four years of that. This is just ah 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 ah. ah, ah, ah. <laughs> ah. I yeah. like Jeff Goldblum nine months. What's your favorite Jeff Goldblum? I like oh, Jeff Goldblum Jeff nine months. Goldblum. <laughs> I like Jeff Goldblum, the pickup artist. Oh, that's a good Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should have a Jeff Goldblum draft. I, I, I like early to mid '80s Jeff Goldblum. I like early '90s Jeff Goldblum. I like. You know, I miss the, uh, the mole Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, I like white, man, white, uh, white, great white hype Jeff Goldblum. Great, great, oh God, <laughs> great white hype Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> I'm pulling all these vague Jeff Goldblum out. Man, there's there's a lot of, there's a lot in there. <laughs> and in case anybody's wondering how Justin's gonna fit Columbo into this, oh here we go. Podcast, here we go. Jeff Goldblum was yes. on an episode of Columbo. Of course he was. Of course, who wasn't in Columbo? <laughs> it's an extremely racist episode. Oh. Jeff Goldblum was what? What was he? A, the Nazi? No, he was a protester. Uh, what was, was his approach? name? Hector El- uh, Elizondo? What's his name? Oh, yeah, Hector name? Elizondo. He was in. Uh, he plays um, uh, he, an he Arab. He plays Tiger in uh, Beverly Hills. Country. Hector Elizondo plays an Arab guy. Yes, with the oh. whole outfits on the head dress and the brown person. skin. That's pretty racist. And we, we bring it back brown to blackface. <laughs> Yes. Well, see how it's I just tie that all together for you. But, you know, Jeff Goldblum is in that episode. He is a, um, a protester, I believe. Um, he's credited as, cool. but he's a protester in the scene. Good old Jeff. Um, and if I remember correctly, season five, second or third episode. Your your Columbo oh, knowledge only, uh, is getting to levels. Are you it's going getting to levels of, of, of keeping it. It's like Columbo beautiful mind stuff. with you. I love bringing it up because all I hear is Matt like in my headphones, like <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know if he's like about to laugh or he's the pain is just pouring out of his no, mouth. I, 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 I just I, 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 I'm, I, I'm extremely um I'm I'm I'm, I'm I'm giddy. I'm giddy. I'm downright giddy about it. This has been Kill Fuck Mary, a segment that'll be more effective this Valentine's Day than chocolates and roses. Trust me.
<laughs> and that's how we go straight to hell. Go ahead, Matthew. Give everybody your information. <laughs> Thanks for being on the show, uh, Albert Finney. That uh, fucking guy didn't show up again. <laughs> 14 I, times I, already. I've met a lot of unprofessional actors in my time, but you fucking, sir, take the fucking cake. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> That's not a good Albert Finney. I don't know. I, don't know. I, don't know. Isn't he, I thought he was Wait. British, maybe. I don't fucking Jason, know. Jason, he has like a really deep voice, but he has yeah, a yeah, weird yeah, cadence yeah, where he's yeah, British, yeah, but he's yeah, not yeah, British. Yeah. He's just kind of talks. So he's kind of like right? Michael Gambon, but not. He's Michael Gambon's Michael that, that Gambon. voice, you know, but, but Finney always sounded like he was eating something all the time. Like, he's like, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Jason, Jason, Jason Barnard. Your name is David. Webb. Are you chewing, Mister? Uh, <laughs> bite it, bite, bite it, <laughs> bite it, bite. Jason, bite, bite it, Jason. <laughs> bite it, bite it, bite it, <laughs> bite it, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> you have to give the information. You have to. End, there's no end of the show right I now. Know, you have okay, to end the well, show. Yeah, okay. <laughs> end this show like Albert Finney ended his life. Bite it, Jason. Bite it. Bite, Bite it. it. <laughs> this is the Simplistic Reviews podcast. I'm going to stay here. There's a scene in Ultimatum where he's like, Jason's coming for you. He's like, uh, no, I'm going to stay. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> Watch Born Ultimatum, kids. <laughs> it's such a good movie. Apparently, it's good. It's very good. Apparently, people like it. It's better than Jason Bourne because, Jesus Christ, <laughs> the simplicity of his podcast. Where are you right now? Jesus I'm in my Christ. office. No, you're not. Download you the have podcast. Conversation face-to-face. <laughs> Jesus Christ, go to the website. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ, go to Twitter. Who's Jesus? Jesus Christ, go to Facebook. <laughs> what? Jesus Christ, we're on Instagram. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we're on Twitch. We Jesus Christ, we have a podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, and TuneIn Radio. Bite it, Jason. Je- Jesus Christ, go to Patreon for no reason. Oh, you want to be part of the program. Jesus so. Christ, we're on Letterbox. Jason, Jesus Christ, it's called SR for President. That's our username. David, your name is now Jason Bourne. And Jesus Christ. Bite it. <laughs> well... For Can I do my it? Jesus Christ impression? Go ahead. Go go do your Jesus Christ impression. Go ahead. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> the joke is, kids, he's not real. Thank you for listening to the Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ is Jesus Christ. <laughs> I want you, Justin. I want you to be in a grocery store and go. Jesus Christ! It's Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just drop everything and run the opposite direction, <laughs> dude. I would wet myself. If I and saw then you hear some old lady in the back. What? Going, I can see it. Wow. <laughs> I just, I just picture Justin with sunglasses on, right. just, like like smiling with the, like risen. having a little chit chat with the co- the cashier, yeah. and like like breaking off and like saying nowhere. something to the, the door, Christ. taking off his glasses, and going, Jesus Christ, it's Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know how, but he found me. He found me. That son of a bitch found me. <laughs> I don't know how, but he found me. I don't. I I was away. I disappeared. I got <laughs> off the grid. Years. <laughs> I'm gonna stay right here. I'm I'm gonna stay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I don't know how he found me, but he found me. Thanks for listening to the season premiere of this simplistic reviews podcast. We have a whole lot of surprises planned for this year. New guests, new sketches, new uses for profanity. Hell, Matthew might have amnesia. I may fall into a coma and then wake up with a new face. Justin may get pregnant. This podcast is a proud member of the Lamb Podcasting Network. Find the network at largeassmovieblogs.com. But Valentine will still be a cocksucker. Then I shall just have to give it to your sister. Bite it. You'll have to bite it.